Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Destiny, if you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, as you can see from the title, I'm going to be sharing with you all my denim collection, highlighting a few of my favorite new and old finds. I definitely, with that being said, will not promise to link all of the denim that I'm going to share in the description box because I just don't have them anymore and some of them I've had for a couple years now. Some are newer so I'll try to link those but yeah with that being said I hope you guys enjoy this collection. I'm really excited as we transition into the spring season. Definitely pulling out a few more pieces. It's time to get out of just the leggings and matching sets. It's time. Hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and with that being said let's get into the denim. Okay, so I have a lot of denim from Zara sprinkled in with a Goldie Citizens. I'm just going to highlight a few of just kind of my favorites and um, ones that are more of a variety from one another so I can kind of give you guys a capsule holistic look. But starting with this pair from, it's a light wash full length pair from Zara with an unfinished hem. I love these. I get a lot of compliments on these when I wear these out. Super cute and stylish. As you guys know, I love a full length jean, but it's a little bit more trendy now to wear like a full length, have it um, be a little bit more baggy, not fitted. I had gotten these a couple years ago and they are just transitioning right into what is trending, but really cute. I love to wear these. You guys know I'm just a very simple chic girl. This paired with kind of a neutral tank or fitted tee. I love the full length so I can pair it with a sneaker or heels, but a very versatile jean, especially as we're going into the spring. I've always been more of a light wash girl, even though I am going to share a couple of darker denim that I have started to dabble in. I think it's always great to have a variety of denim that you can wear in different environments. I like these because there is no distress, um, no rips, no holes throughout the actual pant. Yes, this is unfinished um, hem, so it's a little distressing, but it's light, it's subtle, it gives the jean a little bit of a flair. Definitely, you can pair this with just so many things really cute and i definitely feel like this jean is one of my most worn in my collection now next i picked these up a little bit more recently if you guys have watched my aritzia haul these are the a goldie cargos again another full length but i love just that cargo denim look this is a fun piece to me to add to my denim to kind of get again get that versatility not all my denim look the same so it's really great um if you are a very in trend person you guys know denim and baggy jeans are in also we never steer wrong from our cargos so really this is kind of like an all-in-one piece but it to me doesn't come off too trendy i think it's still a very just nice fun stylish piece that for me is not too far off from still kind of my simple chic maybe a little edge here and there so it really works for me but extremely cute has these great big pockets here and again just like the previous ones these have huge bottoms like huge but a finished hem they're a goldie so they are amazing quality it was surprising because the only thing i struggle with sometimes with a goldie jean is i love a full length jean and i'm 5'9 and so a lot of their denim don't really do it for me lengthwise so but i came across these and loved them i love how they fit they're just so nice and baggy stylish and cute you can see in the try on haul they are just I love I love everything about them so definitely can have fun moving into the spring season styling these even if you want to make a very what would be casual outfit popping these on is definitely going to give it that little extra edge make it seem like you put a little bit more effort have a little bit more style in your wardrobe so 10 out of 10. 
Again, they are a, another light wash pair, but they just pair well with so many things. Like if I really wanted to just pair on my Uggs and a cute like white tank, that's going to be really cute and very, you know, model off duty, simple, chic look that looks a little bit more effortless with some style and tan behind it, but nothing too like, oh my gosh, I really tried. You know what I mean? always the vibe now in the recent years i have definitely stared away from a lot of denim with distressing but i wanted to share a pair that i had loved how they fit they just kind of fit like a glove were really cute just kind of this light wash full length straight pair with distressing in the knee I liked it because it wasn't too much, but definitely, and then I finished him. Just a straight pair, another wash. I will say this wash of jean is one of my favorites. I think even though I've shared literally a bunch of light wash jeans right now, this wash to me just seems like a true light wash blue denim that I just love. They're not for me, I don't think long enough to really pair with heels, but I love pairing these with like my wands. In the pockets it has like a little bit, you can see how it's kind of trying to kind of keep that cohesive distressed look. A little bit in the detail right here, but really a lot of the distressing is just right there in the knee. So not too much, not too crazy, but I love the wash of this pair. Now, this next pair, another light wash jean, carrot leg ankle length pant, really cute. It's kind of like a light wash with hints of that kind of darker wash. I will say this is a very chic fitting pant. There's no distress in these. Um, again, these ones are from Zara as well. I don't wear them as much and especially in the colder seasons. I want full length denim if I'm going to put it on nice to be cozy and warm fully covered but these type of pants are really great for those spring summer seasons when you're kind of cropping things up i also just love how this pair sits on my bum and just like i mean i'm not really curvy but i just feel just pay attention to where pockets sit on you because that will do wonders for your figure and really help make a jean less or more flattering on you definitely pay attention to where the pockets sit because that is going to really give you shape take away shape if your pockets are like cutting off your butt then it's going to take away your figure but if they sit nice up and right kind of like in the middle it's going to do wonders now of course if you're going for a more baggier look then you know that's not really particular but when it comes to a fitting nice flattering denim then definitely pay attention because it's those little things um, that we sometimes forego that really are going to kind of determine how flattering a pair of jeans are on us okay the next pair of jeans are from zara as well like getting in to a little bit darker these are a high rise full length pair they are in which i feel for this pair is another one that i want to highlight the wash in i feel like these are just such a true standard blue denim jean they're not too light they're not too dark they're a little bit have that baggy so it's not too too fitting no distress as you can see a finished hem i love how they sit on top of my shoes i like this pair because it is not too tight or anything just a very nice loose comfy fitting jean that is really just your standard denim so i feel like if you're kind of like do i go light do i go dark boom you have a perfect mix right here something that you can throw on i'm all a fan for just having like i've said just versatility in your jeans because to me denim is like that perfect pair or that perfect staple where you can dress it up dress it down if you don't want to be too lax throw on a denim but if you don't want to be too dressy and reach for your trouser or your nice pants or you know you can go fall back on a denim and it just is really that staple to me it's one of the backbones of your wardrobe i also don't get me wrong love like my trousers and my other pants but I just feel like having nice denim that you love. And for me, I feel like I wasn't 
as big of a fan of denim until or not even a big a fan i've always loved denim but finding denim that you love how it looks on you play around with that some people like high rise i love a high rise jean i'm not a low rise jean girly but whatever you feel is flattering to your body you're comfortable in you like to style I definitely find that and i feel just with any piece but especially pants if you love them, you're just going to feel better about them and you're going to gravitate towards them more and be able to really utilize and maximize their full potential. So, but yeah, love this pair. Again, if you're looking kind of for a pair like this, hopefully this is some good inspo that you can kind of gravitate to. I just love this wash. It's like a medium blue. It's perfect. Like it's literally perfect. Now moving on to another jean getting a little darker. This pair is probably the most like whoa jean. The one that's kind of not the oddball out but definitely a little bit more different for me. Again it's darker denim um, and it's a flare fit but for some reason I thought they were so cute and flattering and I just loved how they look. I thought it was a fun stylish piece. I had this high rise and two they were full length full length jean i want it but yeah this darker denim which i feel are so cute during the colder seasons and bundling up and again having just kind of a chic casual outfit um it pairs really well i love the full length it's a finished finished hem there is no distress on this one as well but again i just love the fit of these and very versatile and you know they might not be the everyday jean that i'm throwing on to go hit the towns but they might be a more appropriate jean for me in my more like corporate and professional environments where i want to be a little bit more modest and just you know not being trying to trying to be too professional but not too lax i can still have a good denim in my wardrobe to grab from as you can see in the try on i just love how they fit and that they're full length they're really fun if you're like me who shies away from dark denim um because you just don't know how to style it's not your thing i've always thought dark denim i don't know i've just had always had this thing against darker denim i don't know where it came from but this pair snuck its way into my wardrobe if you're looking for a fun kind of different long length denim um hopefully seeing how it looks on me and some of the inspo will give you kind of an idea of if you think you should put in your own wardrobe now the last pair of denim i am obsessed with i love i think these are maybe like top three um pairs of denim to have in your wardrobe at least in mine and that is an all black pair of denim these are a long length so definitely when you talk about a versatile jean and be able being able to carry that from the day to the night i have so many ideas for this pant of some really really cute night looks this is the citizens of humanity jean full length bag it's a pretty finished hem but with like accents of distressing but just so cute as you can see them on i love i kind of varied between keeping them how they are and taking in the waist or playing around with leaving it baggy or trying to see if they had a just slightly smaller size in the waist i do tend to like my jeans to fit at the waist they can be baggy throughout but i like my jean to fit at the waist because they like a high-rise jean so if they're not fitting there then they tend to pretty much become a low mid-rise not really my cup of tea but again these are the anina um citizens you need an all black look but again with a pair of jeans so chic baggy pair it with some heels if casual is more your vibe and you like sneakers I really think that an all black and I have been looking for a good pair of all black denim jeans for a really long time and finally came across these. They have a lot of good pairs and although brands like Citizen and Goldie are a little bit more pricier of a jean than you know your Zara and other similar stores, they are fantastic quality. Again, I'm not a huge fan of a lot of the Igoldi jeans just because they don't carry a lot of styles in the lengths that I prefer on me. They tend to be a little too short and look like high waters rather than the intended 
desired style and look. Citizens, I will say, has a lot of jeans. I think these are the 30... This might be the 33 inch inseam, which is chef's kiss. But Citizens has a, a lot of cute jeans that are full length. So especially if you are a tall or girly like myself, definitely check them out. Like I said, pricier, but when it comes to investing in your pants, you want good jeans that are going to last. And unlike trends, investing in your denim is like investing in your capsule wardrobe. It is a pant that you can wear all year round. It's not something that you're going to have to keep recycling, especially when you get just good, basic, quality, high quality jeans. You're really going to have them for a really long time. Um, so that is the good thing about them. Well, that brings me to the end of this video. Um, I hope I could bring you just a little bit of inspo and idea as you think about and gather your denim collection, especially as we transition, thinking about what styles are suitable for you. As you can see, I have from light to dark and I love it that way as just kind of building my capsule wardrobe and always having bottoms and denim jeans that are versatile for many different occasions day night corporate likes like whatever it is having something in my wardrobe that i can pull from and easily style i definitely will say i'm more minimal chic i don't like to do too much of crazy I, my fashion taste is very very simple you don't know what to wear nine times out of ten it boils down to throw on a cute pair of jeans and a top and let's go so hopefully you guys gained some inspo and enjoyed the pieces that i had to share don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i will see you in my next video